already give a full breakdown. I literally recorded a 16 minute video and then at the 16 minute mark, I was like, do I want to re-record this? I was just like, I'm going to re-record it. So let's get into it. I'm going to give you guys a full breakdown of um, futures, what I've learned so far. Please be lenient with me. I'm still learning. I had a lot of people hitting me up saying, yo, Lonnie, how do you do this? How do you do that? And I was like, boys, I'm still learning myself. So bear with me. Um, I've been learning for the past days. So I'm learning and making this video so I can help you guys as well. So we can all make that switch and integrate smoothly so nobody's having um issues with trying to understand and find the right videos i'm gonna make everything here and if you have any questions of the sort hit me up on discord join the discord link in the description join the community um and apart from that sorry boys i'm tired but we're gonna get after it we are going to get after it let's start with what we're going to go over we are going to go over how to set up your trade of eight prop firms contract sizes minis and micros charts specific charts um did I say how to calculate your contract sizes? Scaling in and out of positions, stop losses and take profits. It's a little hard because market's closed. Um, and then what else? That's it. That should be it. Unless I'm missing something, it'll probably come to mind. But I think that should be it. So let's get into charts first. I want to put timestamps. So look in the description. There's timestamps. Um, look in the description. Look in the video. Hopefully, there's timestamps. Or look in the description. There's timestamps. Anyways, let's start with the charts. First thing you're gonna notice from going from futures to or from forex to futures. Remember, slippage doesn't exist. So all these brokers where you see it says Oanda, Blackpool, blah blah blah. You're not gonna use them anymore. You are now gonna be using the proper futures pair. So. Let me research it up because I accidentally clicked it there. I cleared out my um, watch list for you guys. So let's go here. What is the gold future? I am still trading gold. I'm still trading NASDAQ. Nothing changes. Gold future is GC. Bam. Comics account or comics chart. Bam. Right there. The last video had a little more personality. I'm not going to lie. But I was a little more distracted. I wanted to, you know. Anyways, I wanted to cook. So anyway, <laughs> right here. We have GC exclamation mark. This is gold futures. So I did mention there are minis and micros. Minis, think of it as a one lot size. Micros, think of it as the point percent of the lot size for my Forex people coming to futures. Let me explain. One micro, 10 minis is, 10 micros is one mini. And one mini is 10 micros. One Mini is 10 micros and 10 micros is one mini. Minis are meant to be bigger. Mini, right? So that's all it is. So right here, let's say you're like, okay, Lonnie, we have the mini right here, but how do we trade the micro? Whatever pair you're looking to trade, you put an M in front of it. MGC, micro gold futures. Of course, I'm going to try to link a few videos in the description to help you guys too, if you guys want to look around, but... um. This video should cover everything, and if I miss anything, I'm going to make another part two of this because it's a lot of work going into Discord servers and scrolling around the internet and not being able to find the solid, the basic information. Like, it's the basic information, and it's not there. Like, what? Um, or only few channels post it. I forgot what the trader's name. Justin. Shout out to Justin, man amazing i love him i had to subscribe just because he showed she showed me one tip with the chart anyways with that being said that's mgc so let's do nq for example bam we have nq the mini right now let's find the micro mnq cool we understand that micro e mini nasdaq futures same thing for es es bam smp mini mes micro mini smp micro mini smp my nose is itchy the camera isn't focused. Wow, we're a lot more on task. Um, oh, disclaimer. I did say this in the last video. Um, I got banned from my prop firm. How you may ask? Well, you know, we had 300, however, 300 something. The 200K account was good. 100K account. I haven't traded in over a month. It wasn't a bit of drawdown. And impulsively, I'm just like, you know, we're switching to futures. I wasn't going to full port the 200K account at all. And then I'm just like, you know what? Let's max margin it. 
I max margin it, get margin called, and then get an email saying your trading agreement has been terminated. And I, I bawled my eyes out laughing. I started rolling on the floor in tears. I'm joking. But I was just like, well, <laughs> I was like, well, perfect timing. We were making that switch anyways. So they're trying to get all the, all the profitable traders out. No, but in all seriousness, it's whatever. Um, I'm also going to go into prop firms, everything of the sort too. So let's get into that. Uh, back to the chart, I mean. So we understand micro charts and mini charts. Correct? Correct. And we understand which charts to trade on. You guys are all going to be looking at the same chart. Why? Because there's no slippage and stuff like that with brokerages. It's cool. Daily may look a little janky, but... um. That's how everyone sees it, so get used to it. Unless you want to have another chart up too, like another like broker chart like Oanda or um, Black Bull, just for like daily confirmation, whatever the case. But you can see the daily for value up right there, I think. Should be. Anyways, now that is 615. Cool. Let's go to Trade of 8. How do you set up your chart? Well, sorry. Let's go to tra What is Trade of 8? Trade of 8 is a Bro futures broker very very well known for this sound order filled order filled order filled like i live for that sound like literally live for everybody's like why don't you just execute straight on trading view because i don't get that sound i i, bro, I want to hear order filled like what so <laughs> even if it's harder to con calculate contract size and everything, i want to hear order filled let me be anyways trade away let's get into it what is Trade08? Trade08 is a uh, futures trading brokerage. It's very, very popular. Um, you, majority of you will probably know it from order field, like seeing any clips with that audio. Now we're going to make a demo account with it and showcase you how to set up your charts and everything of the sort. Let's get into it. Right here we have Trade08. Bam. Click on their home page. I personally want to log in. Everybody's like, oh, I had to input information in X, Y, and Z like to create an account. I was like, you had to input SSN? I didn't, but you could go to open an account um, and sign up with Google or sign up with whatever. Cool, do that, right? You're cooling. For us, we're already logged in. Bam. You'll get, but let me actually like show you guys so I'm not like everybody else on the internet. Okay, I just click login twice. Open account, and you create it, then you click login here. You log in with your username and password. Login. No, we're not like everyone else. Um, then we have live trading, market replay, simulation. Market replay, you have to purchase, but it's a super, super good back testing tool. It's 50 a month, I think. Um, I'm not purchasing that as of right now, just for the video, no way. Um, <laughs> live trading, log into the live environment. That's if you have funds in your account. We are on demo. Um, we got the 14 day free trial. They do offer that as well. Simulation, access simulation. Well, we also bought our other thing. I'll explain later. Anyways, so when you load it up, it will not look like this. How do you clean up your chart? Lonnie, how do I clean up my trade away chart? Top right corner. Click close. Close. Close and close. Close everything. You'll have a blank canvas like this. Cool thing about trade away, it's super, super customizable top left hand corner add modules let's throw on the chart there bam throw on the chart this is what we get add new chart we're gonna start with nq not gonna do anything more anything less bam nq h4 when you search up it will have a multitude of things nq a bunch just select the first one for now gold is gonna be different i'll tell you which gold chart to use and for other um futures pairs don't ask me about it i only know gold and nas um and es but apart from that, you're going to have to si literally sift through all of these and see which one works best, best for you. NQH4 is what works best for, you know, that's what follows price action. That's what we were trading with today, so it worked out. Um, anyways, if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. Anyways, bam, we have one chart. If you want to add another, you can add a new tab. Simply add another. So M and Q. We'll do that, for example. Select. Cool. We have M and Q right here. Awesome. Awesome. You'll notice, or actually, I'm, I'm going to say that in a second. Next thing we're going to add is the DOM. What is the DOM? Well, when markets are moving, it showcases orders right here. Bam, 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 bam. With the DOM, you're able to input limit orders, limit 
stops, limit buys, limit sell, all the buy stops, sell stops. You 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 know what I'm talking about? Limit orders right here. So let's say I executed on 1796075. Bam! It would have a triangle. Obviously, market's closed. It will have a triangle right next to it. And if I go and let's say we click buy one quantity, one contract, on one mini, buy order rejected. It says order rejected. Order rejected. Right, because market's close. But let's say I went there. It said order filled. In order to place your stop loss, it has to be below, obviously. Um, and then you could drag it. You know, you could just stop to break even. But first, it has to be below current price action with how it's moving. How do you do this? You go on, in this example, you would go on the ask and you would left click, right click. Order rejected. Bam, set it right there. And same thing, vice versa. Sell, go on buy. Order rejected. You know, same thing. And let's say you actually want to place a limit. Order rejected. Order rejected. Chill. You could go in. It'll pop up on the chart in a second. We also, you can also go in and place um, limit orders the exact same way. Exact same way. You know, that would just be the example if we we're in a trade. If you want to place limit orders, go right there. Then order rejected order rejected um, order rejected oh <laughs> they got mad bro <laughs> they got mad. anyway that's the dom you understand the dom dom's pretty useful i execute with the dom if you want with the chart you can actually have an execution to where it's right here trade mode you can have trade mode on you can execute strictly from the chart without the dom i like the dom i enjoy using it um but you can execute right here too just for my chart purposes i'm gonna keep that off you can adjust that in chart view settings right there um anyways you'll notice when you first put a chart and you try to drag off it won't let you let me show you how to do that how to it will have what is called continuous auto fit you try to scroll away, snaps back, scroll away, snaps back, scroll away, snaps back. Right? That's going to happen. Why is this so laggy? Oh, because I'm not on the Trade Obey platform. Like, download the app too. If it's laggy and you know you have a decent enough PC that can run Google, mines can barely run Google, but <laughs> decent enough PC that can run Google, um, download the application. Anyways, right here. So we see it keeps snapping back. How do we turn this off? Chart settings. Continuous auto fit off. Now we can free roam on the chart. Capiche, capiche. If you want to turn it back on, turn it back on, whatever the case is. If you ever load a chart and it's like this and it's just a pure black canvas, click right here, go to current bar. It'll fix that too. That I had to find out on my own. Um, so this, now, cool thing is you could keep adding more stuff if you want. We are going to next add positions. You want to see your open PL when you're within a trade. Um, if you have the trade, mode on it'll showcase that up here when you're in a position it'll showcase usd contract size everything of the sort it'll showcase that and please note if you are in a let's say you're in mnq you have to make sure you're executing on the right thing mnq you know if your executions i mean you don't have to if you're training the same like let's say you're training nq and mnq but you know lots a contract size essentially the same whatever the case is right just make sure you're executing the right thing right let's say your futures calculator says 15 mnq 15 micros um and then you try to execute 15 on nq contracts your order won't go through that's the max contract i can place on a 150k account your order will go through but you'll get pound town let's call it that leave it at that anyways with that being said bam you throw down positions you have this right here super customizable go in play with it see what you want to add see what you don't want to add if you want to add another chart you can add another chart right there bam it'll showcase there 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 cool right or even or even here um really cool this is my basic setup i think this is really all you need you don't need a million charts you can just sift through um, but if I wanted to add one for gold, I could too. Let me show you for gold. All my gold traders out there. GC. It will not be GC4. It will not be GCH4. It will be GCJ4. Every other chart doesn't load besides GCJ4. Why? I don't know. 
same thing will go with the MGC. Same exact thing. Micro gold. Exact same. Do you see? This is G4, not GC. MGC. J4. Bam. This one I found is the only one that loads. Cool. We understand that. Trade of weight done. Cool. Now let's go into contract size. How do you calculate contract size? What is this? We'll wait like three seconds. Bam. How do you calculate contract size? Let's get into that. That one's important too. Because it's like Lonnie, I don't know how much I'm risking. I knew how much I was risking with MetaTrader because it lets me drive the SL and I could see what's an estimate. Give me an understanding. So we calculate profit in ticks. No longer pips. So we calculate profit in ticks. You guys know I don't do that. I calculate in percent gain, like actual percent gain on the like trade. So like if we're up. You know, if I take a trade and the you know positions like 0.12 and the risk rewards or whatever or percent right there, that's what I calculated. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep it simple the way I understand it. If you guys wanna go search up how do you calculate, you know, not how do you calculate, but what what is the tick of each thing you bob? I will tell you this: ES is twelve dollars and fifty cents for every fifty ticks. So if you do the math and you want to SL of a hundred dollars, let's say you have a 10k account, you want to SL of a hundred dollars. You are going to use two contracts. Two contracts. Fifty. Just search up the example. This is what you search up. This would let me tell you what you search up. Futures. No, not that. That's what you search up if you're like me. You want to be a baller and just enter real quick. If you want to be a geek and understand, oh, what's the pip calculation of every single thingy? Um, how do you go in search history? Uh, uh, where is it? Calculate the right here. Right here. Suppose, read this example. Pause it, read it. You get an understanding. There's a lot. Or go to this website. I'll put it in the link in the description. No, I won't. Anyways, just search it up. Balancemoney.com, how to calculate future size. There you go. But if you actually want to be a G like me, make it easier on your brain because you can't do math. I can't do math. Filled it three times. We are going to go to... Yo, pause, bro. I was searching it up for the YouTube. I was searching it up for the you. Paul, uh, bro, we're not beating the allegations. It's over. Oh, or at 1012. No, it was for the community post, bro. It was for the community post. Chill. Relax. I, I, yo, I like my own thing. I like them all, bro. Nobody likes them. Oh, I didn't like this one. Anyways, that's why. Chill. Chill. Anyways, you go to Futures Contract Size Calculator. I use the one by Insider Week. And then I go in. How do I calculate it? Exact same thing as Lot Size Calculator. Let's say you're like, okay, this trade looks good. I want to look to take the sell to the downside. Actually, I'll just put the buy example because we played the buy to the up upside today. Bam. Buy to upside. Let's say we want to keep lows below five-minute lows. These are five-minute lows and whatnot. Cool. Right. We're going to get this. Get the entry price. Best thing about futures is your entry price is accurate. Very. So, this doesn't matter. Futures market. You have to make sure this is correct because you have minis and you have micros. Don't confuse them. Minis and micros, don't confuse them. We are trading NQ. I found it. It took me a second. We're going long. You press, press long or short entry price. Bam, copy paste. This should literally take two seconds. Obviously, I'm just taking a second for this. Bam, you can put your profit in one to three, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, and then number of contracts. And then your account size. For my example, it's 150K. Calculate. I will put 3.66 contracts for 1% risk. It showcases 0.5, right? 1%, 0.5, 1.5. Cool. But you're like, Lonnie, how do I do that with minis? You can't. 
you have to put whole numbers. That's the best thing about being able to go on micros. We see right here, it's 366. How are you gonna how are you gonna calculate this? Real quick on the fly, bam, multiply by 10. 36 micros. So you would go on trade ovate, go in here, place 36 micros. That's your exact SO. Of course, with the prop firm you go with, we'll get into prop firms in a second. You have to know everything of the sort. Ugh, this is going to be a little long video because I'm really giving the full breakdown. That's fine. Because um, I had to search forever to find these details anyways. Anyways, well, with that being said, that's how you do it. If you want to actually not execute on um, minis and use micros, majority of us will be using, I'll probably be using micros just because I could get the exact decimal point. Um, but yeah, you, you get the point. That right there. There you go. Futures contract size calculator, whatever the case is, there you go. You're in, right? And then you could go in and adjust, just like I said, with the DOM um, and see where your SL is. And then it'll actually showcase the exact price. Since your fill is a lot better, typically you'll actually have a little bit more wiggle room. That's what I found executing for the past day and a half, day, um, two days-ish. Um, you have a little more wiggle room. So with that being said, bam, that's calculations. That's calculations. Next thing, we went over chart calculations, execution. Um, let me show you how to customize the chart. I didn't show you this one. Chart settings, sorry, I'm gonna do this real quick. You can delete, add indicators. They have every indicator in the book. Um, let's say you wanna add an indicator that's not here. You go to indicators, you could go to explore community indicators um, and then search up 100% win rate, upside down, Eiffel Tower, indicator it will be there um right there and then you have moving averages everything you need if you want to save a template you create a template i have simple template the colors are a little different no indicator no side volume uh clear chart chart settings current position fills and orders it will showcase order lines so you can clean that up if you want it will showcase a high day low day show your fill show your exits price levels all that's all that fun stuff go in test out um, in your own time time periods you have second time periods recent you have you can have 10 second time frame one second time frame whatever the case is you want bam it's right there zoom in zoom out this is how you this is how you do it you select a portion and then you scroll bam that's price right we covered everything we covered everything data box there you go it's data box if you need it i don't use it drawing tools really good drawing tools it's actually kind of fun to draw in here it's kind of fun to draw in here like you can actually draw and the vertical line yeah you can draw you get the point anyways that's trade 08 that's futures calculator those two will be in the link in the description first link in the description use my affiliate code Lonnie BB upside down left right left right Eiffel Tower Donald Trump Kim Jong-un left right upside down tower Lamborghini Bugatti cyber truck yeah I said that for 120% off and a free $1,000 refund and a free sign up to the Marine Corps. You're going to be fighting for the United States of America, even if you don't live here. So it works. America? America! Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Um, let's get into it. Prop firms, everything of the sort. What can you trade? What can you not trade? I know you can trade gold, ES, crude oil. You could trade cattle, corn, livestock um lonnie that sounds crazy <laughs> i know it's crazy um let's take a look real quick one of my good friends he asked lonnie should i switch from um forex to futures and find a new pair because i trade gj you can trade interest rates you can trade everything scroll here great british pound is here silver dx um there's yen here it doesn't look very appealing doesn't look appealing at all let's stay away from that anyways everything's here or search it up on google um crypto you could do too um crypto which is good o oil i already said oil um cows trick cows soybeans all the sort there you go um that's what you could trade or war searched up and google like i did what can you trade and if you're anybody with actually the people that trade nq and gold and es as their starting pairs have no brain 
because we went with the hardest pairs. At least it wasn't US 30. We can all agree US 30 is the hardest pair. US 30 is the hardest pair. US 30 is number one, hardest pair. That's not even up for discussion. If you've ever traded, don't say it's not until you've traded it. You'll get railed. Anyways, let's go into prop firms. Lonnie, which prop firm do you intend on getting funded with? Top step. I'm not an affiliate. I don't even know what the firm is. Uh, I'm joking. I, I do. One step, one rule. Profit targets, um, 6%. Max loss, 3%. They're a lot more strict. Why? Because they want traders that can actually trade. They don't want gamblers. Um, that's primarily because you are A-booked. Don't fully quote me on that, but I'm like 90% sure you're A-booked compared to B-booked. What is A-book and B-book? Remember, B-book within the forex industry is when the prop firm is taking trades against you, betting you lose. A-book is when they're taking trades with you, hoping you win because they make money when you win. That's why they want good traders. So top step is what I intend on going with. There's a bunch more. There's Apex, but I heard some stuff about their uh, trailing uh, drawdown. I don't like that. I'm not trying to get involved with that. There's a bunch of others. Date trade day which gives you first day withdrawal immediately um 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 my funded futures another good one um yeah there's there's so many more if you guys actually want to go in and figure it out prop prop firm match man yeah, go on this website compare all the prop firms going here futures for soccer crops of the indices blah 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 and put everything there right and then you can get the specific details discount codes they're a lot cheaper you guys will see this as well um you pay on a monthly basis let me get into that real quick you pay on a monthly basis um and then there's typically an activation fee with some prop firms there's none but majority of futures ones there are with the ones that there aren't and they have you know they're reputable go with them um so anyways i re i just want with top top step because I know a lot of people that have tops up accounts. Anyways, right here, 50K for $49 a month, meaning if you fail to pass it within the first month of you purchasing the account, you will get rebuild. There are resets to each account, meaning let's say you have a couple bad trades, you want to reset the account, you can reset the account um, and it will set it back at break even for a price, of course. And you can start from there again, which I think is pretty cool. Profit target, 3%, that's 6%. Maximum position f size, five contracts. Typically, you literally, you probably would only be using one contract. Like, realistically, if you're somebody with half a brain, I, I'm not included in that, so don't look at me. <laughs> you would be using one contract on a 50K account around that area. Uh, maximum loss, 3%. So your risk management has to be strict with this. I'm not going to go into my own personal risk management approach. I can make another YouTube video of that or join the Discord. I'll break it down. Maybe make a private YouTube video there telling in class. Anyways, 100K. 99 a month. If you don't pass it, you will get rebuilt. Same thing. But if you do pass it, you will not get billed. The only last thing you'll have to pay for is a one-time $149 activation fee. Then you will not be paying ever again. Unless you, you know, blow the account or reset it, whatever the case is, and then you gotta restart. 10 contracts or 6k profit target, 10 contracts max, um, 3k max loss, and then 150k, which I have. 149, 9, 15, 4.5. Get it? Log in, bam, do your stuff right there. Simple payouts. Um, how do payouts work? Everybody's asking about this. This is very important. You have to have five winning days of $200 to earn your payout. What does that mean? No, Lonnie, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, well, I'm talking to myself. No, that does not mean you have to have five wins in a row. Let's say you have one. I don't like that. Let's say you have one, two, three, four, five. And you make three thousand dollars on the first day right in order to get your payout you need consecutive 200 dollars days just so they can see consistency and let's see you get 200 200 200 200 oh lonnie how would i do that you enter a trade and you're up already like you guys can find a way to enter a trade and immediately exit especially if you're risking a thousand dollars that's nothing that's like 0.25 of your possession anyways bam once they see this, you're good to go. You can withdraw. So, yes, in essence, you can withdraw every five days if you'd like, um, right? But a lot of us won't have five winning days back to back. So it'll be scattered out kind of something like this, where let's say you have, you make money, no money, lose money, make money, make money, 
make money, no money, and then make money again. You can withdraw. Once you have five winning days, over $200, you can withdraw whatever profits you made, right? And you can just keep doing that. Uh, payouts typically take the same. I have heard stuff of payouts getting processed on the same day into your bank account. The best thing about this, you could withdraw any way possible. E-transfer, I, I don't know about PayPal, but you could do e-transfer, routing number, blah, blah, blah. And they also help you with tax certification. Um, they, they have stuff on there. Uh, for all my big traders out there that are watching my videos, I have none, unfortunately. Um, but anyways, for, for anybody that's curious about taxes, they have taxes right there. There's also a tax benefit to trading futures, which I really like. Um, and then you get 50% off first ever reset, education course, blah, 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 right? Um, I don't know what this is, though. Discord chat room, I don't know. But that's that. That's really the main thing. The only way to lose an account is by going surpassing this max drawdown they do have a daily max loss in place it is not a rule violation if you surpass that your account will just not be tradable for the day which i think is really cool for some of my traders that go on tilt and they start placing a bunch of trades this ensures that you will not get your account blown they literally make it so you develop proper trading habit because they're trying to make good traders not gamblers and then you can do all the fun stuff you know search up how it works um yeah Anyways, that's the prop firm space. What else? What else? I think that's everything. I said I was going to cover prop firms, contract size, charting, execution. There's one more. But I don't know what it is. What I say? Prop firm, execution, I forgot, but I don't want to trim the video and clip it together because my PC will take forever to do that, so I'm just going to upload it like this. That should be everything though, right? I covered everything. I covered the chart, prop firm, all that fun stuff. That's everything. Let me check the Discord real quick. I'm not even going to cut or cut or clip or anything. Um, uh, somebody said... Uh, uh, this is when I got my account survey. Um, oh my gosh, I'm not going to scroll through all their messages. They message so much in general. Um, last one was, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's everything. Okay, we got, we got, we got it down. We got it down. So. Right. Minis. There is leverage. Um, I answered everything. I answered everything. Profits calculated in ticks. I'll, if I rewatch this and I say I missed something, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm not even going to like cover it. Let me double check though. Market Master is asking when, when it's going to be up. Um, and yes, for anybody switching Forex Factory, nothing changes. Nothing changes. The overall price action simply just your execution of how you're actually going in and trading. Um, but yeah, that should be everything. Oh, I feel so bad. So apart from that, go in, practice your execution, back test, um, and yeah. I'm definitely going to go back test because there's a bit of things I need to go do. Bitcoin is at $50,000 chopping, but yeah. As, as of that, that's it. That should be it. I'm going to go back rewatch this and see if I miss anything. I'm going to cry if I did. <sighs> we got a lot of work to do. <sighs> okay. Okay. Apart from that, hopefully this helps. If it didn't, 
If I miss anything, I'll put it in the comments or description or whatever the case is. But apart from that, I love you guys, and I will see you, and I will continue to update you on the journey with the funded accounts and everything of the sort. So, apart from that, adios.